I'm Debbie Russ with the BBC News. The leader of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, has met the Israeli Defence Minister Benny Gantz in Israeli territory. It's thought to be his first visit to Israel in more than a decade. A senior Palestinian official said they discussed the importance of creating a climate that could lead to a political solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. France has reported Europe's highest ever number of new daily COVID cases, with nearly 180,000 on Tuesday. As countries across the continent struggle to contain the Omicron variant, Italy, Greece, Portugal and England all reported record highs too. The parents of a 14-year-old girl who was accidentally shot dead by a Los Angeles policeman have demanded justice following the release of body camera footage of the incident. Valentina Orellana Peralta was hiding with her mother in a fitting room of a clothes shop when the officer opened fire on a suspect who was attacking a woman. The closure of Russia's most prominent rights organisation, Memorial International, has prompted widespread criticism. The US State Department urged the Russian government to end what it called the harassment of independent voices and human rights defenders. Dozens of Afghan women have marched through Kabul to demand an end to what they said was the killing and torture of former civil servants and soldiers. The protest was stopped by members of the Taliban. Bangladesh has begun giving COVID booster shots after detecting two cases of the highly contagious Omicron variant in cricketers returning from Zimbabwe this month. They're being offered initially to frontline workers and people over 60. The Bolivian armed forces have airlifted a family to safety after they were found stranded by floodwater and surrounded by large crocodiles. An official said the group of five got into trouble after they left their flooded home by canoe in Santa Cruz. BBC News.